The one-way loitering munition, the OL, developed by Western Australia-based Innovero, represents a pivotal advancement in Australia's defense capabilities as the nation's first sovereign precision loitering munition. Designed to enhance the Australian Defence Force's strike and reconnaissance potential, the OBOL is a response to evolving global warfare dynamics and regional strategic imperatives. The OL is an electrically powered, long-range loitering munition, often described as a kamikaze drone, capable of traveling up to 200 kilometers or loitering for approximately 30 minutes at a range of 100 kilometers with a lethal payload. Equipped with an electro-optical infrared camera for precision targeting, it can carry warheads of up to seven kilograms, including anti-armor or fragmentation variants. The Owl B, a more advanced model, measures 1.8 meters in length and is designed to deliver a seven kilogram warhead with high accuracy. Additionally, Innovero has introduced variants like the Owl A, a mid-weight model with a 1.5 kilogram warhead and a 45 kilometer range, and the OLX test demonstrator, which expands the system's intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. Developed since 2022 in collaboration with NC2 Pacific, a Boeing subsidiary, and partially owned by BAE Systems Australia, the OWL integrates seamlessly with other ADF uncrewed aerial systems, such as the RQ-21 integrator. Its launch flexibility via catapult or a two-meter pneumatic canister enhances its operational versatility, making it suitable for diverse battlefield scenarios. The strategic context for the OWL's development is rooted in global and regional security dynamics. The proliferation of loitering munitions in conflicts, notably Russia's invasion of Ukraine, has demonstrated their effectiveness against armored vehicles, fortifications, and dynamic targets, prompting military experts to criticize Australia's prior lag in adopting such technology. The 2024 National Defense Strategy emphasizes long-range, asymmetric capabilities to deter potential adversaries in the Indo-Pacific, where tensions involving China underscore the need for robust defense systems. The OWL aligns with Australia's push for sovereign defense capabilities, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers, while complementing acquisitions like the US-made Switchblade 300. By offering a cost-effective alternative to traditional missiles, the OWL addresses the economy of war, enabling precise strikes with real-time target acquisition. This technological shift reflects broader trends toward autonomous systems, which provide tactical flexibility and minimize risks to personnel, positioning Australia to adapt to modern warfare's demands. Procurement of the AWEL has been a deliberate effort to bolster Australia's defence industry. Since May 2022, Innovero has secured over 5.3 million Australian dollars in defence contracts to design, develop, build and test the system, with a 2024 agreement accelerating the AWEL-B's third development phase, focusing on manufacture and evaluation. These investments are part of a broader 100 million Australian dollars allocation for UAS, including systems from German and Australian suppliers, indicating a balanced approach to domestic and international sourcing. However, defense industry insiders have raised concerns about funding constraints, noting that other urgent innovation programs face delays due to limited budgets. The OWL's prioritization reflects its strategic value, yet the lack of transparency regarding total contract values and production quantities suggests cautious scaling. This measured approach aims to ensure reliability and interoperability before widespread adoption, aligning with the Commonwealth's goal of establishing a sovereign guided weapons capability. Delivery milestones for the OWL highlight its rapid progression from concept to operational use. A pre-production prototype was successfully demonstrated to the ADF in late 2023 paving the way for service entry in 2024 with an unspecified Special Operations Unit, likely within the Australian Army's Special Operations Command. Live fire tests, including kinetic trials at Woomera in September 2023, confirmed the system's flight performance and payload integration, 
with ongoing phase three testing, refining its capabilities. Further deliveries are anticipated in 2025, contingent on test outcomes. The collaboration with Institute Pacific has been instrumental, integrating the OWL with the RQ-21's pneumatic launcher and common ground control system, including Anexa command and control software to maximize interoperability. This integration ensures that the OWL can operate alongside existing ADF platforms, enhancing its utility across diverse mission profiles. Implementation of the OWL is a transformative step for the ADF, particularly in shaping its doctrinal approach to autonomous systems. Currently, SOCOM-D is trialing the munition, providing a testing ground for tactics and operational concepts. These trials are critical as their outcomes will determine the OWL's broader adoption across Army combat units and influence Australia's use of aerial weapons. The system's integration with ADF control systems facilitates seamless operation, while its potential deployment on maritime and littoral platforms, such as future littoral vessels, expands its strategic applications. By maturing the Army's understanding of loitering munitions, the OWL addresses historical gaps in high-intensity littoral warfare capabilities, often referred to as amphibious amnesia. This process not only enhances tactical proficiency, but also positions the ADF to leverage autonomous systems in complex, multi-domain operations, aligning with modern warfare's emphasis on agility and precision. The OWL's role and purpose are multifaceted, combining lethality with intelligence gathering capabilities. Tactically, it delivers precision strikes against stationary or moving targets, such as tanks and bunkers, with a destructive capacity comparable to a Javelin missile. Its loitering feature allows operators to verify targets in real time, minimizing collateral damage and enhancing mission success in dynamic environments. Strategically, the OWL strengthens Australia's deterrence posture by providing a long-range, autonomous strike option that operates without risking personnel. Its compatibility with other UAS enables it to function as part of a networked force, delivering both ISR and kinetic effects. By offering a cost-effective, scalable solution, the OWL supports the ADF's goal of maintaining a credible defense capability in a resource-constrained environment ensuring flexibility across land, air, and maritime domains. The impact of the OWL on Australia and the Indo-Pacific region is profound, with implications for defense, industry, and geopolitics. For Australia, the OWL enhances the ADF's operational edge, particularly for special forces, by providing a rapid, precise, and domestically produced capability. It marks a significant achievement for the local defense industry proving Australia's ability to develop world-class technology. Marcus Coleman, Innovero's CEO, has emphasized the program's role in establishing a sovereign, guided weapons capability, noting that the OWL family's expansion encompassing OWL-A, OWL-B, and OWL-X positions Australia to outperform global rivals. Economically, the project fosters innovation, attracts investment, and creates high-skill jobs in Western Australia reinforcing the region's status as a defense technology hub. If scaled for export, the OWL could further boost Australia's defense industry, enhancing its global market presence. <laughs>